Oh, nice, sweet Caroline. The Folsom Bulldogs played host to the Sarah uh, Pioneers out of San Mateo on the blue turf at Prairie City Stadium. This is uh, at the very end of the first half. The Pioneers respond to Folsom's touchdown with this connection between quarterback Malaluaki Smith and receiver Jaden Weaver for six. Fast forward to the fourth quarter, Sarah up 17 to 10. The Bulldogs forced a huge turnover in great field position. Hey, 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 hey. Senior DJ Brown comes away with the loose ball. Minutes later, Folsom in the red zone looking to tie the game, but senior running back Donovan Maxi Parlor coughs it up at the goal line. Huge stop for Sarah with no timeouts remaining. Folsom could do little to stop the Pioneers from running out the clock. Words you won't hear me say often. Folsom loses. Final score, Sarah 17, Folsom 12. To Granite Bay High School now, where the Grizzlies made their 2022 home debut against the Davis Blue Devils. These fans definitely were hyped in the parking lot. This is about an hour before kickoff, and it didn't take long to see why sophomore running back Carter Jackson showing off those young legs. Sorry, Mr. Jackson. He takes this one to the house. That put the Grizzlies on the board. Later in the first quarter, freshman Isaiah Ine slips one through the Davis D line and finds pay dirt. Granite Bay had three rushing touchdowns first quarter alone. Early in the second, senior quarterback McCade Long decided he wanted to join the party, scrabbling for his own touchdown. Everything went the Grizzlies' way. Then some improving to 2-0 on the season with the emphatic 74-6 win. And over in Elk Grove on the campus of Monterey Trail, the Mustangs hosting the powerhouse De La Salle Spartans at a Concord. Oh, you got to love the excited student section there. We'll pick this up in the third quarter. Mustangs trailing 22 to 7. But Dalen Ellis says, we ain't going out like no punks. Look at this run as he finesses his way down the sideline for six. That would cut De La Salle's lead to nine. And so he possessed it for the Spartans. They're punting the ball. And watch Farafehi Puloka. He's going to channel his inner mutumbles. He blocks the punt. He makes the house call. That makes it a two-point game with 11 minutes to go in the fourth. Don't call it a comeback. Monterey Trail had the momentum, but De La Salle said, not tonight. The Spartans scored 14 on an answer to win this game. Mustangs fall to 0-2 on the season.